Welcome to Creative Matchup, presented by Adobe, where we pit designer against designer in an all-out battle to win a five-year subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud. Today's challenge, create a responsive website from scratch in under four hours using Adobe Muse. Each site must utilize the client's existing branding and color palette, as well as existing images, to create a site that will impress the judges and satisfy the client. Today's teams are led by Joshua Smith, AKA Hydro74, and Ashley Hafey. All right, teams, are you ready to meet your clients? Oh, hell yeah. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Janelle Luce, and I'm the chef owner of La Empanada Food Truck. We specialize in empanadas, both traditional and non-traditional. I think the website should reflect the truck, kind of laid back and not so in your face. The menu, I'd like to be like, the first thing that people see. Social media is really the only way people know where we are. So if anyone has a craving, they can find out where we're going to be that week. All right, teams, you ready to get started? Let's put four hours on the clock, and your time starts now. Uh, my approach is to basically just run full steam at it. I think it's going to be a heathenistic exploitation of just pure madness of me just basically dropping just pure chaos and basically winning it, just because I'm a winner. My approach today is to keep it simple. We're going to be under a time restraint, and we're definitely going to be having to think a lot about responsive design, and responsive design gets really complicated and tricky quickly if you overthink designs. Okay. And the first thing we probably need to have is the daily menu, because that's what's really important to her. But then I really want to grid the site out, because I think it'll look great responsive, and a lot of people are going to be accessing a food truck site mobile. Four hours is a time crunch, but We'll see what I can accomplish. While everyone's getting to work, let's meet the creative behind Team One. Uh, my name is Joshua Smith. I uh, go by Hydro 74. I'm a illustrator by nature, graphic designer, I guess you could say. Um, spent probably the last 18 years, give or take, doing graphic design and kind of specialized a lot in factor illustration. Um, I really don't know much about Ashley. I seen her work, and it's one of those things where I, it's not necessarily something that I would personally do. For me, I'm going complete badass and full debauchery, and I'm pretty sure hers is probably going to be all pretty and girly, so we'll just see how it goes. Let's meet the creative behind Team 2. I'm Ashley Hafey. I'm a freelance creative, and I'm from Orlando, Florida. My design style is definitely clean. Um, I really appreciate white space, bold color, oftentimes whimsical. I like to do a lot of quick hand-drawn elements and work a lot with line design and an illustrator. I, I know Hydro puts skulls on a lot of things. Um, I know that he has really fantastic illustration work. We definitely couldn't be more opposite aesthetically, so I find that really interesting in this challenge that we really have, I think, different visions and different aesthetics. So Josh, tell me a little bit about your approach. Uh, my first steps is basically to try to get something a little bit more design oriented. I'm actually looking through uh, a type kit to see what kind of choices there are. And luckily there were some uh, black letter options that just, uh, they were subtle, but they kind of went with the flair that I was trying to go for. Yeah, it's just going to be pure death metal. That's the only goal really, because when you think empanada, I think metal, man. <sighs> Adobe Muse is a really great tool based on InDesign. So what's great for print designers is that you already come into it with some knowledge. You know, I've been with uh, Adobe since Photoshop 4 or 5.5. So it's kind of nice to see that evolution. And it's kind of nice to see that even if I have to do something web oriented, that I have the potential to be able to build something. So Ashley, tell me how you guys are using libraries in this project. Well, Brian is uh, helping me create some illustrations, and while he's working on those and making changes, he's dropping them from Illustrator into the library, and it's automatically showing up in my library. So I can drag and drop, try things out. If there's a quick revision, he can drop the revision back in, and I'll replace the image almost immediately. All right, teams, let's meet today's judges. Janelle Luce, chef owner of La Empanada. Stephanie Newcomb, experienced designer with Adobe Muse, and Nick Sambrato, founder of Mama Sauce Print Shop. Tell me a bit about your first impressions. Uh, what have you seen that you like? It's really interesting, actually. It seems like they're taking very different approaches. Ashley is taking more of an architectural wireframe approach, starting off in Muse. And Josh seems like he's diving right into creating assets in Illustrator and then bringing them in. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. We're at the two hour point, so I'm getting a little nervous. I have my full whip site and I'm starting to break it down. And when I get all the way down to mobile, I'm realizing that I need to completely reassess the navigation, how it shows up. I tend to work in a very kind of quick 
fashion, I guess you could say. And so to me, it's no different than just getting the email early in the morning, having something done by noon. So in a way, I don't really consider this to be a challenge at all. It's just an average day at work, really. I started off really great in the first two hours, but at this point, I definitely feel like I'm starting to lose some pace. Stop the clock. Put things on hold for a minute. As you guys know, every job has its unforeseen challenges, and this one's no different. So to simulate a real work environment, we're going to make some changes to your project. So let's give the old last minute revisions wheel a spin and see what turns up. Join us next time for more creative matchup.